Welcome to Math Defined. I'm Mrs. C. Today's video will show you step by step how to divide a decimal number by another decimal number. Our first division problem is 7 and 64 hundredths divided by 0 and 4 tenths. The first step in solving this problem is to rewrite it using the long division box. The first value of 7 and 64 hundredths is the dividend, and we will place it inside of the long division box. The second value of 0 and 4 tenths is the divisor, and it will go outside of the long division box. The next step is to ask yourself this question. Is the divisor a whole number? Looking at the divisor of 0 and 4 tenths, you can see that it is not a whole number. So you will need to convert it into a whole number before you can divide. Just by looking at it, you can see that if you just move the decimal point one place to the right, it will become the whole number of 4. But you might be wondering, how can you just move decimal points? Well, if you multiply 0 and 4 tenths by 10, you will get a whole number of 4. For every multiple of 10, the decimal point moves one place to the right. So now that you've taken care of the divisor, you can't forget the mathematical golden rule of balancing. Whatever you do to the divisor, you must do the exact same thing to the dividend. So you will move the decimal point in the dividend one place to the right by multiplying by 10. The dividend is now 76 and 4 tenths. Let's go ahead and rewrite this long division problem. Don't forget to bring the decimal point up to the quotient. Now you are ready to divide. Remember to follow these steps. Divide, multiply, subtract, bring down, and repeat. We'll start by seeing how many groups of 4 can be divided into 7 and 4 goes into 7 one time. Next you'll multiply 1 times 4 to get 4. Then you'll subtract, and 7 minus 4 is 3. Next you'll bring down the 6, and then you'll repeat the process all over again. So here we have the number 36, and 4 goes into 36 9 times. 9 times 4 is 36. 36 minus 36 is 0. Be careful here, you are not done just because you have a zero remainder. You still need to bring down the 4 from the dividend so that you can repeat the process again. 4 goes into 4 one time. 1 times 4 is 4. 4 minus 4 is 0. Since there are no more digits to bring down from the dividend, you are done and your answer or the quotient is 19 and 1 tenth. If you like the content of this video so far, please don't forget to give it the thumbs up and become a subscriber today. Now let's take a look at the second division problem of 32 and 8 tenths divided by 16 hundredths. You'll start again by rewriting the division problem using the long division box. 32 and 8 tenths is the dividend, so it goes inside the box. 0 and 16 hundredths is the divisor, and it goes outside the box. Now you need to ask yourself that question, is the divisor a whole number? Again, it is not, so you will need to convert it into a whole number before you can begin dividing. So you'll move the decimal point one place to the right by multiplying by 10. But as you can see, it is still not a whole number, so we will have to move the decimal point one more place to the right. Now you will do the exact same thing to the dividend. You will move the decimal point two places to the right. You will also need to add a zero as a placeholder in this empty spot. Let's go ahead and rewrite this long division problem again. The dividend is now the whole number 3,280. We'll go ahead and place the decimal point after the ones place just in case we need it later. The divisor is the whole number of 16. Don't forget to bring the decimal point up into the quotient. Now we're ready to start dividing. So 16 goes into 32 two times. 2 times 16 is 32. 32 minus 32 is 0. Now here again, you need to be careful because even though you have a 0 remainder, you still have digits left in the dividend to bring down. So you'll bring down the 8. And now you have 16 going into 8. And you need to be very careful here as well because 16 will not divide into 8. So you just can't bring down the next digit yet. Instead, you need to ask yourself, how many times does 16 divide into 8? And that would be 0 times. Once you place that 0 up in the quotient, 
you are ready to bring down the next digit, which is zero. Now you have 16 going into 80, and 16 goes into 80 five times. Five times 16 is 80. 80 minus 80 is zero. So your final answer or quotient is 205. Do you need more practice with long division, fractions, or decimals? Then check out more videos like this and more at Math Defined. And until next time, thank you so much for watching.